Hello, good evening, Annie. Hello, good evening. How are you? No bad. Fighting with some exercises. Yes. <laughs> it kind of complicated, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, but did, did you finish the exercises for module one and section one, section two? Almost. Yes. Almost. Yes. One exercise we have incomplete. Another we need one answer. And do you have any question about the the any of the exercises? Yes, uh, it's because we put or I put uh -huh. different kind of weight or also, but I don't know is the what number is because I take a picture with in the WhatsApp. Staining, leaking, structure. I, I think that is the 1.9. I, I, I'm not sure what is the number, but. Okay. But it's from section one or section two? Section two. Section two. Okay, let's see. Okay, good evening, Cesar. Good evening, Rafael. Thank you for coming on time. We're going to wait a little bit for the rest of the class. And if you have any question about the section one, section two, uh, let me know, okay? Um, like any exercise that you haven't finished. Before. Teacher? Yes. I can turn on my camera, but I'm here, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, is this one, it says knowledge check? No. Knowledge check. Okay, we have another one. It says listening exercise. No. Oh, yeah. And we have knowledge check. This one, air pollution is threatening. The table cloth is very clean. No, it's, it's other. The table cloth is very clean. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Probably section one because this is section two. Or is it, is it section three? No, maybe okay. in section one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to check section one right now. Okay, thank you, Estela, Diego, Josue. Thank you for coming to the class. We are about to begin. If you have any question about the platform, let me know, and we are going to complete it, okay? We are going to help you. So we have this listening exercise. I guess that we help you with this. This is the knowledge check. The table, the table looks pretty dirty, like the wood is too scratched. The table looks very pretty. That that's it. Pretty okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the answer is is scratched. Scratch or has scratches. Okay. Has a lot of scratches also. It's a scratch. I put the scratch, but it's a scratch. Yes, is is scratched. Yes, is scratched. Let's see. Is. Or let's see, has scratches. Now the period, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so has scratches. It's okay, you just need to write it with a period. And it is scratch, let's see. Is scratch also, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But you need to write it with a period in it. Mm -hmm. Is scratched. Okay, do you have any other question? Any other doubt about section one or section two? All of this. <laughs> All of <laughs> Number four, teacher. Number four, the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he is wearing is torn, probably. Let's see, is torn. Is torn, exactly. Ter, torn, right? The past participle. Or 
has a tear. Period. Let's see. Yeah. Is torn or has a tear? That's the, the response for number four. Another one? Thank you, teacher. No problem. Number one and number two. <laughs> number one and number five and number six. Okay, let's see. Number one is this tablecloth isn't very clean. It is stained, right? Let's see. Is stained? No, I stain is not correct. Probably it has stains. It has stains let's see period let's see show the response in this one you have to include it's mm, I, this one yes it's stain uh-huh it is stained or it has stains period. it has a stain yes it has a stain period Let's see, period. Exactly. Sorry. See, it's kind of complicated there. It's stain or it has stain. Tiene una mancha. It has. It has a stain. Period. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, right? Let's see, it had a stain. No, it's stain without D, right? Because it's the noun, right? No, without A. So see, it has a stain. Oh, okay. It has a stain because it's the noun, stain. Tiene una mancha, it has a stain. Number two, could we have another water pitcher? This one is leaking, right? Is leaking. Oh, yes. Because that is the exception, right? This one is leaking or this one has a leak. Has a leak, period. So we have to be careful with nouns and also with past participles. In this one, it was, it was kind of complicated because you need to write the, the subject, right? But in this one, it's just the verb. In uh, number five, could you bring me another cup of coffee? This cup is cheap, right? Because that is the past participle. Is cheap. Let's see, cheap, right? Or has a chip. Let's see. Yes, it's correct. Has a chip. And this one, the walls are really, the walls really need painting and the ceiling is damaged, right? Period. Let's see, is damaged. Let's see. Yes, it should be is damaged or has some damage. Let's see, has some damage. Has some damage. Period. Oh, in this can in this one, I guess that there is no period. You see, without the period. Why? So that is it's a problem with, with the platform. I'm sorry for that. Uh, probably they need to update that. Uh, but that's the reason why I ask you every class um, if you have any question about this because it's kind of tricky, right? Uh, mm -hmm. To use the platform. So it's damaged without period, and it's correct. You see, all of them are correct. The number one is it has a stain. Number two has a leak, period, right? Number three is scratch, period. Number four has a tear or is torn, period. Number five has a chip or is chipped, period. And number six is damaged without the period or has uh, some damage. <clears throat> So do you have any other question? Uh, there is another that uh, we were fighting with. Here's a uh, one that say, what is the typical problem? Batteries, batteries. Um, we put battery, battery, uh, battery. Um, is this one, is the listening? Um, problem, lock doesn't work or lock doesn't work. No, it's not no, that. No, not that one. Okay, let's see. This one is uh, chooser, right? You don't have any problem with this one, right? This uh... Just choose, like my computer is driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. It keeps crashing, right? 
No problem. Okay. This one? Yes. What is Joe? the problem? Okay. Let's what see. What is the problem? We, in the 1.1, 1 .1 is what? The, this is watches, watches. Watches, exactly. This one is watches or Joe repairs watches. Let's see. Yes, watches. Joe, what does this person repair? Watches, right? What is the typical problem? Uh, they need a new battery or 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 they need a new battery. Let's see, they need a new but luggage luggage right that is the number the next one the other one is the wheels and the last one is household appliances yes household appliances let's see yes correct mm -hmm. so number one is uh watches number two they need a new battery Number two, again, is luggage, 2.1, the wheels, and, and three, household appliances. Okay, thanks. Okay, perfect. Any other question? No questions? Okay, perfect. So we can continue right now with, uh, let's see, Chad. Knowledge check, 2.2 out. Okay, knowledge check, 2.2. We are going to check. Here right now. Let's see. Knowledge check 2.2. We have an activity. Uh, which one? The the part of the of the car, the, the exterior part of the of the of cars. Exactly, yes. This one, knowledge check. 2.2, this one, right, okay. Instructions, rewrite the sentences using passive and the preposition given. Don't forget to use capital letters and periods. Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas by, yes, we haven't studied this, but we can complete it, no problem. Okay. Number uh, one is the health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Let's see. The I I will write it because just to check if it accepts right uh, the answer in urban areas is being threatened. By air pollution, right? Number two period, right? Number two, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground, underground water. Soil and underground. This is passive, right? So water have been contaminated because of livestock farms. What is the meaning of livestock? Como desperdicios. Okay. Let's see number three, desperdicios. Let's see. Uh, number uh, three, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. Acid rain, right? Acid rain. Sorry, has been created as a result of burning, sorry, of the burning, right? Of the burning of gas, oil, comma, and coal, period. And the last one, the use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer. A hole in the ozone layer has been 
created through the use of CFCs in products like hairspray, right? Period. Okay. Let's see if it accepts it. Yes, all of them are correct. So if you check it, uh, this will be like, this is just passive voice. Uh, we will study this be, uh, later if we have time. The health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Exactly, Nady. Exactly. So this is just um, passive voice, right? And also uh, the preposition, right? Because of, of, as a result, through. So this is kind of complicated, but you need to practice and it will be easier. Any other question about the platform? Any other question? No more questions? No, no more questions. Okay, perfect. If you have any question, any doubt, uh, try to send a screenshot to the group and we will try to help you. Um, let's see. I wasn't able to answer, but that's the reason why I, I, I thought that it would be better if we answer everything during the class, uh, so no problem. I understand that it's kind of complicated to use the platform, but um, sometimes it's because of the period, sometimes it's because we need the subject, sometimes we need only the, the verb, but we are going to keep on practicing, okay? We are going to review right now um, the class of uh, yesterday, yesterday's class. What did we study yesterday? Que estudiamos ayer? What did we study? Past participle and mm -hmm. noun. Exactly, no. exactly. <laughs> exactly, past participles or participles and nouns, right? We check the regular past participles and irregular, right? right? And we are going to check right now uh, just the pronunciation. I will give you some information first and then we are going to check the homework, and then we're going to use that vocabulary to uh, practice what we have um, studied, right? For example, past participles and nouns, right? Uh, to describe problems. We were using it to describe problems specifically, but we can use them to do something else, right? Uh, different, right? Different things. Um, and we were using past participles. For example, turn is a past participle, it's irregular or ter is a noun. Something is torn or has a ter in it. And this is the structure, right? With past participles, subject plus be plus past participle as adjective. The verb to be, right? Remember to use the verb to be. My dress is torn, right? My car is damaged. And a noun, right? We had a lot of nouns, common nouns, proper nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, concrete nouns abstract nouns, collective nouns, compound nouns, countable nouns, and uncountable nouns. And uh, we use the structure with nouns, right? Subject plus have plus noun, or there is, there are, right? There is or there are. My dress has a stain on it. Tiene, right? And it has, or there is a stain on it, right? I bet that there is a stain on it. We can use both. And we had these exercises also, uh, we were checking a uh, new vocabulary. And uh, we have break and also broken, right? We have uh, uh, damage and damage, right? We have the noun and the participle, past participle, crack and cracked, scratch and scratched, chip, chipped, tear, torn, were worn out, stain, stained, dent, dented, born, burned, leak is leaking, and peeling, right? Que se está descascarando, peeling. We learned all of that yesterday, all of that vocabulary. We had a lot of information, but we are going to use all of that vocabulary and also new vocabulary today for today's activity. Um, 
and these are the materials, right? They have problems, right? Chip, dent, crack, scratch, stain, all of that. We saw uh, this information yesterday. Now, pronunciation with, this is related to uh, the regular verbs, right? Verbos regulares en pasado. O pasados participios, right? Past participles in past. Now, we have three different pronunciations. For example, if we pronounce the past tense ending as a separate syllable, T or D, like it, right? So, uh, we pronounce the past tense with um, with it, with um, not with the letter, but most of the letters end in T, right? Or in D, right? La mayoría de las palabras terminan con T o con D, pero es, es con ese sonido, right? So, uh, we are going to pronounce it it. For example, want, what is the past or the past participle of want? How do you pronounce it? Want. Want. Wanted, right? Wanted. So all of these, all of these words are going to be pronounced as it, right? Rent, rented. Rest, rested. Repeat, repeated. Plant, planted. Okay. What is the past of wait? Waited. Waited. Very good. Waited. Wait. Visit. What is the past of visit? Visited. Visited. Very good. Ex expect. Expected. Expected. Correct. Corrected. Corrected. Act. Acted. 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 Count. Counted. Counted. Need. Needed. Needed. End. Ended. Ended. Add. Added. 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 Very good. Pretend. Pretended. Pretended. Hate. Hate. Hate it. Very good. Decide. Decided. 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 Operate. 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 Operated. Very good. Invite. Invited. 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 Taste. Tasted. 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 Very good. So uh, many words that end in T or in D uh, as a separate, separate syllable, uh, they, they that is the pronunciation, right? Counted, needed, waited, operated. You see, many of the words that end in T or in D, right? As a separate syllable. So they pronounce it like this in this, in this case, expected, corrected. Now, the other pronunciation for past participles para los que terminan en ed, uh, for regular ones, we pronounce it like t, right? T. So they um, finished with the sound. Uh, these are sounds, not a, these are not letters, right? As you can see, this is a K, 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 or SH, or double S. But these are, uh, this is the sound right at the end. This sound is voiceless. It means that it doesn't vibrate in our throat. Esto no, eh, cuando hacemos estas palabras al final, no vibra nuestra garganta, ¿verdad? Y es por eso que suena esta T, ¿verdad? Esta T. For example, if you touch your throat and you say ask, at the end of the, the word ask, it doesn't vibrate, right? It's just air. Solo expulsa ah, aire. So... Uh, that's why we pronounce it in that way. Por eso la pronunciamos así. Okay, so, for example, ask, asked. Park, parked. Walk, walked. Talk, talk. Check, check. Cook, cooked. You see, so it's a T at the end, like T, right? But it's the sound, right? Is the sound that is voiceless, porque no vibra. And you can uh, look at uh, different examples. Like, for example, what is the past of miss? How do you pronounce the past of miss? Missed. 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 Exactly. Missed. How do you pronounce the past of wash? Wash. Washed. 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 No. Washed. No. Washed. It's kind of difficult. It's a little bit difficult, 
but it's uh, it's like that, right? It's washed. When we speak fast or when we speak normally, it's it's really little, right? Like the pron the pronunciation. We can notice like a really small pronunciation in that when we speak with other people. But it's there. It's like small t, right? Washed. I washed my car. I washed it. So, for example, what is the past of um, fix? Arreglar. Fix. Fix. Fixed. Exactly. Um, the past of help. Ayudar. Help. Helped. Helped. Exactly. So now you know. You don't have to say help it. You don't have to say finish it. You don't have to say he said, me said, park it. You don't have to say that. You can say parked, missed, kissed, crossed, right? All of that. And the last pronunciation, uh, because with ED, the pronunciation is kind of complicated, is the D, right? It's not a T, it's a D. And these are sounds that vibrate. And that's the reason why it sounds like a D. Sounds like L, Y, N, V, R at the end, right? At the end of the word. For example, call. What is the pass of call? The pass is cold, oh, cold. right? Cold, con una D al final, cold. Plan, planear. Plan. Planned, right? Um, Planned. Answer, contestar, right? What is the pass of answer? Answer. Answered, exactly, answered with a D, small D, una pequeña D al final, right? Answered, very good. So uh, the same, right? What is the um, the pass of stay? Stay, quedarse. Stay. Stayed, stayed. Love, right? It's, it's a very common word, love. Love. Love, love. exactly. So now you know. Now you can practice these ones, these ones, and these ones, right? three different pronunciations and now don't say stay it don't say love it don't say uh, born it don't say that born right ironed borrowed okay now you just need to practice practicar just that right and you are going to be able to pronounce uh, in a better way right with practice now you already know how to pronounce this i don't expect for you to learn it like that I know that you will have some time to practice later, but uh, for that reason, I will give you this information for you to practice. Now, homework. Who did the homework? ¿Quién hizo la tarea? Who did the homework? Parts of a car. Me. Okay, what uh, words did you investigate? ¿Cuáles palabras investigaron? What words? The lady first. Ladies first, okay. <laughs> Ladies first. Let's see who who wants to begin. Mm -hmm. eh, okay. Yes. Uh huh. The wheels. Wheels, exactly. Wheels, right? Wheels. Uh huh. Wheels are uh jantas, right? Sandra, go ahead. Eh, oil foam. Oil foam. What is oil? Oil. What is that? Oil pump, bomba de aceite. Oil pump, very good. Oil pump, bomba de aceite, right? That is inside of the car, very good. Oil pump. Who else? Quien más? Who else? Tell you, me. Okay. Hi. Windshield. Windshield, what is windshield? Parabris. Parabrisas. Parabrisas, very good. What else? What else? Outside mirror. Outside mirror. What is that? Retrovisor. Okay, okay, very good. Very good. What else? Engine. Hood. Hood. Capo. Hood. El capo, right? Hood. Very good. Hood. What else? Drill. What is the drill? Or the grill? El radiador del coche. Okay. The drill, right? Very good. What else? Headlights. Headlights, very important. Headlights, the lights from of the front right. Very good. Yes, Rodrigo, what did you investigate? What else? Bomb. Gear level. Sorry? Gear level. What is your level? La palanca de cambios del vehículo. Oh, gear level. Very good, gear level. And how do you palanca de uh, palanca de cambios exactly? And how do you say 
uh, how do you, who investigated uh, la llanta de repuesto? How do you say that? The spur wheel. Spur wheel, very good. Spur wheel. You have a spur wheel? Yes, I have a spur wheel because it's damaged. What else did you investigate? It? What else? Gearbox. Muffler. Sorry? Muffler. Muffler. What is the muffler? It's like the muffler in what it's in the disc box. Oh, okay. Muffler. Okay, very good. Very good. And what else? Gearbox. Gear gearbox okay gearbox exactly very good perfect we have a lot of vocabulary very good if you investigated that uh these are some words right we have a lot but these are some of these of these words like window tailgate right handle the handle but a real right handle to open the door the outside door the wheels right or tires tires is in the u.s right the turn signal. What is turn signal? How do you say that in English or in Spanish? Sorry. Via. 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 Exactly. Turn signal. Bumpers, right? The bumper. License plate. What is the license plate? La placa. La placa, right? The plate. The plate number. Headlight, as Elio said, right? Headlight. The hood. Many mentioned the hood. Windshield. Review mirror is the one, the mirror that is inside, right? Mm -hmm. And steering and suspension and the roof, the roof of the car, right? And the seats, of course, right? So we have many and we are going to to use that. Uh, I, I will give you more words also for, for the car if you want to review it, right? Tailgates, taillights, we have a lot, right? And inside more, more words, right? But it's okay with this one. With this ones, uh, will we be we will be okay, right? I need you to mention some of them. We are going to practice with this new vocabulary. Very good. And what we are going to do is a conversation, okay? A role play. Do you know what a role play is? Have you done that before? Ya han hecho eso antes, un role play? No. no. Okay, now we are going to begin. Now, our role play is a conversation that you are going to invent, you are going to create. I don't want you to write it. No quiero que la escriban, así que, so I, pero uh, pueden usar apuntes. You can use notes, right? For example, I'm going to say this at the beginning, and you, so you can remember, right? But don't write all of it because you are not going to finish, right? Uh, today, right? You, we will need like two hours to finish that. So because you will have like around 10 or 15 minutes to create your conversation. It will be, we are going to uh, work in couples, right? In pairs, sorry. So student A, for example, one student uh, will see that the car is damaged, is dented or is scratched or is uh, cracked, anything. You can use the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. Usen el vocabulario que estudiamos ayer. So you think that your son's neighbor is a reckless driver. So you think that the, uh, the son of your neighbor is responsible for this accident. So that will be uh, the situation uh, for student A. Esa sería la situación para el estudiante A. And the student B is the neighbor, right? Uh, your neighbor is really upset because he thinks that your son is responsible for the damage on his car. You ask for proof and you propose a solution for this inconvenience, okay? So the other student will be the other neighbor, right? And we'll try to find a solution for this problem, okay? So you are going to create a conversation, right? For example, hey, um, your son uh, damaged my car, right? And you are going to use this vocabulary. Uh, the, the door is dented or the windshield is cracked or the bumper is, is cracked, right? Or you can uh, use different or scratch, right? You can use different vocabulary. And then the other one, the other person will try to find a solution, right? We'll try to calm you down and find a resolution, okay? Uh, ¿Todos hicieron la tarea? Everybody did the homework. ¿Todos lo hicieron? And everybody, another question I have is, uh, does everybody is able to use the microphones? ¿Todos pueden usar el micrófono en este momento? 
para crear la conversación? Yes. Yes, right, okay. So use these um, words, right? My car is dented, my car is scratched, my car is broken, my car uh, broken again, my car is damaged, like different things, right? And use the vocabulary that you investigated, right? And uh, then we are going to check if you are able to create a conversation. Now we'll give you just around 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're going to perform the conversation, okay? I'm going to create the groups right now. Voy a crear las parejas en este momento. And you just need to join, right? And then we are going to perform the conversation. Let's see. I will stop sharing the screen. Les voy a enviar también la información al grupo de WhatsApp del roleplay para que ustedes lo tengan en su teléfono, en su computadora, para que sepan qué van a hacer. So you will know what to do, right? So... I will send it to you right now so you know what to do. Remember, try not to try to improvise. Traten de improvisar. Try to use the vocabulary that you know. Try to use uh, the English that you know, okay? So just let me send you right now the, the screenshot and we are going to create the, we are going to create the groups, okay? Now, you already have the information there in the group, uh, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to start talking. Let's see. How many are we? We are 16. Okay, vamos a hacer ocho parejas entonces. No, vamos a hacer siete. Okay, uh, va a haber una pareja de tres, así que traten de improvisar la conversación esas tres personas, ¿verdad? Eh, traten de incluirse. Eh, recuerden, traten de improvisar. Don't write the whole conversation, okay? Because you will have only 10 minutes. So, let's see. Okay, now you can join the groups. Eh, yo los voy a estar revisando, voy a llegar a revisar si tienen algún problema o alguna pregunta y yo les voy a ayudar, ¿ok? No estoy ahí para juzgarlos, sino que para ayudarlos. Now you can join the rooms, ¿ok? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, ok, it, the, the groups are only for do the, the conversation or... Um, but... After that, we present, present the, the conversation to the all classmates. Exactly. You present, you present the conversation to all the classmates. Exactly. Just okay. the groups are just to prepare the conversation. Okay. ¿A dónde nos vamos a join? ¿A dónde nos vamos? ¿Compartir pantalla o dónde? A join rooms. Uh, are you able to see any... Let's see, Abril. Okay, are you able to see it right now? Yes. Okay. So we have Nady, Rodrigo, Antonio, Rodrigo, Daniel is one. Erasmo, Perla, and Sandra is another one. Soraya and Zulma, another one. Cesar and Josue, another one. Eliu and Marvin, another one. Ciro and Diego, another one. And Elizabeth and Rafael, another one. Okay, try to join right now. Okay, Rodrigo, Soraya, are you there? Okay. Let's see, Sulma.
Hello, Sul Margider. Yes, teacher. Okay, I guess that Soraya was not able to join the group. Let's see if I can assign you to another group, okay? Yes, okay, no problem. Yes. Just, just allow me one minute, please. One minute, please. Okay. A student B, we, we can decide if it's a student A or B because I don't know what is our role play. Uh, okay, do you have any questions? As uh, sorry, Sulma is here because I guess Soraya was not able to join her room. Do you have any question? Do you have do you need any help? To create a uh, conversation? Uh, what is Just our checking. conversation? A student B or A? Oh, one person will be student A and another person will be student B. Ah. Yes, it's like, yeah. for example, uh, one will be one vecino and another one will be another vecino, right? Uh -huh. And you will go and you will knock to the door and you will say, hey, what happened? Your son uh, damaged mm -hmm. my car, right? And you need to improvise. And then... The other person mm -hmm. will try, okay, calm down. We can do this. We can do that. Okay, don't get angry, right? So you mm -hmm. need to find a, a resolution. But mm -hmm. use the vocabulary that we have studied. Use el vocabulario. Mm -hmm. Que Zulma puede ser el hijo. Uh -huh. Zulma can be the daughter, right? Okay, did you, did you scratch? Yes, exactly. Uh, Zulma, uh -huh. did you scratch the car? No, no, I didn't do it, right? Okay, so you find, at the end, you need to find a solution, okay? No mm -hmm. tiene que ser larga. You have, it doesn't have to be long, right? It can be short, but I need you, I, I need to listen to you. Mm, okay. Okay, en, perfect. Entonces, entonces Erasmo, can, can you, tú puede ser, can you be the neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. The, the on the car. Mm -hmm. And I am the Hello, do you do you need any help or are you creating the conversation already? Yeah, uh... We are creating the conversation, but I don't know if uh, Josue have okay. a question. Questions, Josue? Oh. No, no, no. Um, okay. Okay, you can create. You can uh, keep going. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay. And entonces, sí. esa sería como la idea. Sí, sí, right. eh, sí, si gusta lo hacemos así, o sea, como que, digamos, yo soy el pez, tú, tú, tú hablas del accidente con, con, con mi hijo y fue el daño por una bicicleta. Ajá. O sea, lo podemos hacer en la tarde, ¿eh? como te como te Okay. The... okay, do you have any question, any doubt? Do you need any help right now? Or you're okay. creating the conversation already? No, oh. we, we, we couldn't say the, 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 the radiator. radiator. 
Radiador. Ajá. Radiator, ajá. Radiator. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice para, para preguntar a alguien uh -huh. eh, si el carro tiene, está asegurado o tiene seguro para do poder you, llamarlo? Uh -huh. uh, do you have insurance? Do you have insurance? Uh -huh. Insurance. Insurance, yes. Insurance, seguro, insurance. I told him okay. that I have ability insurance. Just when my when somebody when some when, when I I I hit somebody, I don't have full insurance. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have full coverage, right? You just have liability insurance. Yes, yes. very good, very good, very good vocabulary. Okay. You can use that, no problem. Remember that you have only five minutes and then we are, you are going to present the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, we, yes, go ahead. We are going to present in, in the group, in the entire group. Yes, you, you are preparing the conversation and you are going to present the conversation to the okay. group. Okay. We Everybody are right. will do it. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tenemos que prepararla entonces para, la, para cuando retornemos al grupo. Do you have any question? Do you finish the conversation? Almost. 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 Okay, Almost. perfect, perfect. So you only have uh, three more minutes. Try to wrap it up. Let them terminar la conversación. And then we are going to go back to present the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Vaya, en la siguiente frase le puse yes, but science. Sí. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you say taller in English? Body shop. Uh, body shop? Body, body shop. shop. Yes, body shop. To the body shop, taller. Yes. Body shop. Uh, um, can you write this? Body shop, body like body, como cuerpo, body, B-O-D-I, and then shop. Más parece es pa cuando dice body shop. <laughs> yeah, but it's a body shop, es el taller, body shop. Unido o separado? Uh, separated, okay. body shop, body shop. ¿Y cómo Did se you dice finish? llegar a un acuerdo? Uh, to get an agreement or to agree into something. To get an to agreement. agreement. Uh -huh, uh, to agree yeah. or to be uh, to to have an agreement. Tener un acuerdo to have an agreement. Okay. Did you finish the conversation? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So uh, your son pay for pay my car <laughs> for that much of my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. So we are going to practice it in in a couple of minutes. Okay. Try to finish it right now. Okay. Thanks. 
Okay. And uh, other question, the vocabulary. Pero, y, y entonces, workshop, ¿qué significa? Okay, welcome back. Perfect. Now we are going to practice the conversation, okay? Uh, hopefully, uh, you have used the new vocabulary for the car and also uh, past participles, right? And also nouns to describe the damage, right? And also you find a resolution for this problem, okay? So uh, let's see if everybody's here. We have Elizabeth, we have Rafael, Rodrigo, probably he had, he was not able to join. Cesar, Josue, and Soraya, I guess that Soraya is kind of sick, right? So probably she's not able to join also, she's just listening. Uh, welcome back, Diego and Josue, and also we have uh, Erasmo, Nady, and Sandra. Okay, perfect. Also we have, Soraya, okay. Now we are going to begin with the conversation. I need two volunteers, please. Those voluntarios. Okay, Eliu Marvin. Okay, very good. Very good. That's the spirit. Very good. So <laughs> let's begin. Eliu and Marvin, please. Marvin. I know you do. Okay. Who is Hello. there? Who is there? Hello, my, my name is Marvin Salazar. I have a problem. Oh, Marvin. Oh, what is your problem, Marvin? You are my neighbor. I, I, I know you. What is the problem? I, Tell me. Problem. Your son crashed my car. My son, Junior, Junior, crashed your car? Yes, sir. With his car? He's outside, near here. In being a street. Do you have your car in the garage right now, or, or where do you have your car? No, I, ha I have the car outside. I I go into the hospital, cross to the park, and do some crashing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel upset about that. So can we go right now to look at the damage? To look at or wash what is the damage the um, the damage is or oh, the problem in the in the car is don't start maybe leaky right uh, right uh, crash me uh, from okay let's go to to i would like to see i i want to i want to okay we are right to the to the car right now uh would you like to open the the hood one question, sir. Do you have insurance? Yes, I have insurance, but my insurance is uh, ability. It means that uh, the insurance company cannot pay to you. Just, uh, okay, sir. yes, Probably. it's abilities, it's, but it's for my car, not for my son's car. Uh, but let me let me see the it, it look like the it look like the that the grill is leaking. Let me 
Okay, I feel upset about that. I am going to solve this, this problem. Let me bring the mechanic tomorrow because uh, right now is a, is a, is a, at noon. Let me bring the mechanic tomorrow. Tell to yes. your, tell, tell no somebody, and I will fix your car. I is I feel upset. Um, I I feel I feel so sorry about that. Uh, okay. Okay. Say, say like, my my, phone, my number is seven one one five. Okay. One nine. Okay. Then I can call you back. I will. I will my phone number too in a way that I can, I can advise you or tell to you when the car is, is a fixer, okay? But we'll be fixed. Okay, thanks a lot and pardon me for this, this problem. Okay, okay, that's a lot, teacher. Okay, very good, perfect, perfect, very good. Congratulations, very good conversation. Perfect, you used a lot of vocabulary. Now, let's see next ones. Yo creo que tal vez nosotros, eh, Marix, Marix era el con la que estaba ahí con Are you Sandra were with? y oh, Sandra, perdón. Dulma, Sandra, okay. Sandra y Erasmo, Sandra y Erasmo. Dulma, Sandra y uh -huh. Erasmo, ok. Ok, go ahead, please. Ok, um, bueno, empiezo yo. ¿no? Um, what happened uh, with my car? Um, uh, broken uh, outside mirror. Oh, sorry, neighbor. I don't know what happened. Sulma, what happened with the, his car? No, mommy, it was an accident. I was coming fast on my bike. He crashed, broke the mirror. Oh, sorry, neighbor. And can you buy the outside mirror? And then you you give me that bill i pay for it sorry mm. only <laughs> okay, okay very, good. <laughs> very good very good perfect very. that's that's a good conversation very good perfect let's see very good sulma sandra and erasmo let's see next ones uh, me teacher okay and cesar Jose. and who else Jose. Okay. okay, you can go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, Josue. Good afternoon. Uh, talk, talk. Oh, first slide. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. You are my friend, and I don't know how to say this, but my car is damaged. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the damage to your car. Yeah, but I think that your son is the responsible because I saw him um, on his bike in the afternoon. My car was parking on the street and I saw him on, the, on his bike. So I, I think that he's the responsible. I'm sorry. Uh, my son called with his bike. Man, you are my friend, but uh on just an apology that that's not enough uh, my the hood is dent dented and and the head light is broken um no problem i will solve the pro i i will solve the problem of your car and the headlight and the, and the hood Okay, I, will, I hope that I, I, I will I will pay the damage. I will pay the damage. Okay. Sorry, sorry for all the inconvenience. Well, I I I'm, I'm called the mechanic to uh, and you need to pay for that. <laughs> no problem. I will pay the damage. Okay. Thanks, Josue. Thanks. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. Very good conversation. A lot of words. Very good. Perfect. Next ones, please. Siguientes. Volunteers. Alguien más? Alguien más que quiera participar de la conversación? Nobody else? 
That's it. <ríe> nadie más, nadie más falta. I guess they finished already, right? Okay, Cesar Josué, you finished, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, who yeah, else? Yeah, Alguien yeah. más que quiera participar de la conversación? Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, it's time, I guess, it's time to finish the, the class. Si tenían la conversación escrita, guárdenla, okay? And we are going to continue tomorrow. Y les voy a dar el feedback tomorrow, okay? Creo que mañana vamos a tener clase, right? So, I think that we are going to have classes tomorrow. And I will give you the feedback about uh, some words. Uh, you are doing it really good, really great. Uh, but just some details. But uh, generally, it's really good because you're expressing your ideas. You're expressing your what you want to say, right? What you want to convey, the message, right? So really good. Perfect. So it's missing Rafael, Ciro, and uh, I guess Sandra, right? No, Sandra already participated, right? Yes, 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 Sandra and Elizabeth. Okay, very good. So I think that uh, two couples, two couples are missing and we are going to check them tomorrow, okay? Today you're not going to have uh, homework, okay? No van a tener tarea hasta después, until tomorrow, okay? So I will see you tomorrow at eight. Thank you for being here and I will see you. Have a nice night, okay? Okay, have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.